In this video, we'll be going over swap nodes and pairs. So give me a link list, swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head. So in our first example, we have one, two, three, and four. So we want, we want to swap the first pair, which is one and two. So we get two and one. And then we want to swap the second pairs, three and four, and we get four and three. And that's our resulting list. Um, let's go over the thought process. So for each of the nodes, or pair of nodes, for each of the pair of nodes, which will denote at X and Y, we will first want to save y.next as the next node because we are planning to disconnect the current two nodes. We will first, oh, uh, we will append y to our resulting list first, then append x to our resulting list. After swapping, um, this will allow to swap the two nodes. So after swapping the two nodes, we will continue our traversal from next, which is basically the next node, y.next. Let's go over a pseudocode. So we're going to create the following variables. The first one is the s head, is the sentinel head of the new list. And we have s tail, is the sentinel tail. Of the new list, so it's going to be initially s head and node our current location inside input list. So it's going to be initially the head node of the input of the input list, and then while node is not equal to is not equal to node, that means we still have nodes to process. So we'll, we'll first want to save um, the next next node. So if we're currently at this node, we want to save this node first, the node at three. So we're going to create a variable next to, uh, to save the next node. But if node.next is null, then we can set next to null. If like if two is equal to null, so we only have one node left, so we can't even save this node. So we are just going to save the null, null node. Else we can set next to node.next.next. Okay. Now we want to swap our two current two nodes, but before that, if node.next is null, that means we only have a single node left. We just want to append this cur uh, this single node to our resulting list. So I'm going to set tail.next or set sentinel tail.next to node and then set s tail to node. It just appends the node to the resulting list. Else, we want to swap the nodes. But before that, we want to set node.next. Dot next to node. It basically disconnects the, the second node from our, from our input list. So basically, we have currently have our... If we're currently here, we want to disconnect this node from 3. So we're trying to cut off this uh, pointer. Now we want to append the second node first to our resulting list. So s tail dot next to node.next. And then set s tail to node.next. Now we want to append the first node. So s tail.next. Uh, before that, you also need to uh, remove the pointer, basically disconnect this node too. So we want to disconnect this pointer. So set node.next to node. And then set s tail.next to node. And then set s tail to node. Now we want to move on to our um, next node, which is going to be node three. So we want to set set node to next. And then we can return the sentinel head dot next, which is the head of the resulting list. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to O of n where n is the number of nodes in the in the input list. We basically visit each node once. And then our space complexity is equal to O of 1 because we modify the input list. Now let's go over the code. We first create our two sentinel nodes. So our sentinel head and our sentinel tail and our current location inside the input list. While node is not equal to node, we still have 
um, nodes to process. We want to save the next node first. Next is go to first. We have to check if node.next is equal to node. If node.next is equal to node, we can just set it to node. Else, we just set node.next.next. And now we want to swap the nodes. But before that, if node.next is equal to node, then that means we only have one node, one node left. So we, we just want to append a singular singular node to our resulting list. S dot next is go to node and s tail is go to node. Else we want to swap the nodes. Before we swap them, we gotta dis disconnect the nodes first. So node dot next dot next is go to node. This disconnects our second node. So s tail dot next is go to node dot next. And s tail dot next is go to node dot next. Oh, s tail is go to node dot next. Now we want to disconnect our first node. And then we want to append the first node to our resulting list. And now we want to move forward into our list to the next next node. Then we're going to return the head of the resulting list. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Hit like and subscribe if you would like more content that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics or questions you want me to cover, let me know in the comments section below.